if you're watching this video I'd say that there's a pretty good chance that you have at least a basic idea of what MATLAB is and you probably know that it's ridiculously expensive but in case you didn't know MATLAB is essentially a program that's used for numeric computations and it's used a lot in industry as well as academia uh, now I say numeric computations as opposed to symbolic computations which is the type of thing that Maxima does and if you watched my series on how to use Maxima you might be tempted to think that symbolic computations are better than numeric computations but that 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 sorry but that's actually not actually not the case uh, because numeric computations are significantly faster and uh, they're so they're used a lot more often in practical settings now I like MATLAB a lot but the price and the copy protection are really frustrating to deal with so it would be nice to have a free and open source alternative to MATLAB and there are actually several different alternatives to MATLAB but there's two in particular that come to my mind those are Octave and FreeMAT Octave as in uh, O-C-T-A-V-E and FreeMAT the nice things about these two particular programs is that they're mostly MATLAB compatible that means that code that you write for MATLAB will usually work in Octave and FreeMAT and code that you write in Octave or FreeMAT will usually work in MATLAB so most things that you type into one of these programs should usually work the same way for all three there are some exceptions but not very many um, but there are also some disadvantages to using Octave or FreeMAT instead of MATLAB for one there are some things that MATLAB can do that neither of these programs can do I've seen some kind of weird assignments, seems like mostly in physics classes, uh, that some students have to have, have that just can't really be done in anything other than MATLAB. Uh, another disadvantage is that your professor may not be willing to accept work done in anything other than MATLAB. Uh, so you definitely want to ask your professor before you use free matter octave if it's okay to use that before you turn anything in and if they don't want you to do that you can at least you should at least be able to write the code in free mat or octave and then be able to run it in MATLAB on a computer in your school's lab that being said I will be upfront in saying that uh, depending on what you're doing you may want to go ahead and get the student edition of MATLAB which is about a hundred dollars which is as you can imagine why it's very nice to be able to use octave or free mat if it's if you're able to do so now I just compared a little bit uh, Octave and FreeMAT to MATLAB but now I want to compare Octave to FreeMAT I actually uh, personally use Octave primarily because it's been around a lot longer and is more mature more widely known and has a whole lot more support uh, but I chose to make this particular video, video series in FreeMAT instead of Octave because I know that most people watching this are probably going to be Windows users and unfortunately trying to run Octave on Windows is really quite horrible especially if you're trying to do graphics now if you're using Linux like me I would probably suggest Octave instead even though it's a little less user friendly and part of the reason why I say that is because Ubuntu's repositories only have version 4.0 of FreeMAT available and there are significant differences between 4.0 and 4.1 um, if you're using Fedora or something else I don't know uh, what the repositories have available um, so but in short if you're using Windows I'd suggest FreeMAT if you're using Linux I'd suggest Octave and if you're using a Mac then shame on you but in all seriousness if you're using a Mac I would take a wild guess and say that FreeMAT might be better but I don't really know that um, but if you learn how to use see I'm doing going to be doing this in FreeMAT but it's going to apply just as well to Octave um, anything that I use, anyth anything that you, if you learn how to use FreeMAT, you should have no problem going with Octave, learning how to use Octave, and you should have no problem learning how to use MATLAB. It's because it's all pretty much the same thing. Uh, it's and, and also, also sorry, I also want to say in addition to that that FreeMAT has this really nice user interface that's pretty similar to MATLAB, and Octave does not have that. There is a user interface from Octave called Qt Octave. I don't think it's very good personally. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. I like to use it in a uh, terminal better. I think it's a little bit faster, probably too. So now that I've I've gotten that out of the way, I'm gonna want to go ahead and show you uh, where to get FreeMAT. Um, now, if you're 
using Windows, you can just go straight to uh, freemat.sourceforge.net. Don't forget the .net because .com and .org do not work. Um, it's pre in Windows, it's pretty straightforward to download and install. Um, but for Linux, you'll probably want to go through your um, distros repositories. I mean, you can try to install from source in for Linux, but it's uh, I've never. I haven't been able to get it to work if I install from source. I just have to go through the repositories. Um, and as you can see, the, the latest version in the repositories is 4.0, which is why I suggest using Octave instead if you're using Linux. Um, now, if you, do, if you want to run Octave in Linux, you can get that through the repositories as well. Just uh, install Octave, and it'll install anything that you really need. There's also some additional packages that are in case you want to do something that's a little bit more um, in-depth. And um, if you do use Octave for Linux, you'll probably want to install, you might want to install Xterm as well. Um, you may not care, but this is, Xterm is what it um, default, what it opens in, in default, but you don't have to use Xterm. You can use any terminal in Octave will open just fine. Just type in octave as your command and it'll open. So uh, now th while I have this browser up I want to go ahead and show you, show you that there is actually a version of octave for Android. Um, and so that means that if you need to do something in a rush and you don't have a computer around um, you can use Octave on Android. It works pretty decently. I've used it a little bit myself whenever I, for whatever reason, didn't have a computer with me. If you do use that, you'll also want to get Droidplot. And um, Hacker's Keyboard would also be really nice because um, it can be kind of a pain to type stuff otherwise. Um, so, I'm going to be using making these videos in FreeMat, but outside of the interface, all of the commands that I type into FreeMat would work just fine in Octave and in MATLAB. Now I don't really intend for this series to make anybody into an expert at FreeMat or Octave, but just to give a jump start so that you have a working knowledge of how to use the language. And I'm definitely not able to cover every command available, uh, that just wouldn't be possible. But if you need to learn how to do something that's not covered in this series, you can just go to Google and it shouldn't be, too, shouldn't be too difficult to find what you're looking for. Like if you want to figure out how to find the diagonal of a matrix, type in MATLAB, diagonal, you could probably do Octave or FreeMat, but it, you get better results if you go to MATLAB. And then, um, so this is Math, MathWorks website, but it's still, even though it's MATLAB, it still works just fine in Octave and FreeMat. So find the command there and you shouldn't have any problem. Now I'm not an expert in MATLAB, FreeMat, or Octave, I'm actually really just a beginner, but I thought that I'd share what I've learned about the basics so far so, so that I can help anyone that needs to learn this uh, get, get a jump start on it. I know that I probably would have been very nice for me if I had a jump start on it like this. Um, and as the saying goes, you teach best when you need to learn most, so I hope that this series is helpful to you.